Breaking news. Buhari nominates Barati, Only Sanki, Ibas, Abu Bakar as non-career ambassadors. Guys, you don't know what is happening. President Muhammad Buhari is a very clever thief. Okay, so he's using the arms of the law legitimately to cover evil, atrocity, and crime. So that's why I, I, I feel so pained when I see other regions like the South, South, the South East and the South West, when they condemn, I'm not saying it's not an endorsement for crime. In fact, a disclaimer, anyone who is committing crime, defrauding people is wrong. Stop it. It's not good. You are doing, you are, you are not doing yourself well. You are doing a disservice to humanity. That's not right. Please, if you are involved in it, please stop it. Okay. But what I'm trying to say here is, in the south, 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 east, southwest, the governors, for instance, in Lagos yesterday, two men were sentenced to death because of armed robbery. As much as that is not good, yes, what happens to bandits that they are caught? They call them repentant. They give them job in the military. They put them in the soldiers. They give them 150. They pay them millions of naira. What happened to Yahweh Yahweh boys? They put them in prison indefinitely, weakening the youth arm of the nation, of the southern region. But in the north, they pamper, foster, encourage criminals to continue in their part. That being said, Barati, we all know that his hands are not just stained with blood. In fact, he's dipped in blood. You can hardly see him because the blood, the cry of blood of innocent people from criminal war to human to, to crime against humanity, human rights, all against him. And the International uh, Court of Justice, as soon as, you know, uh, he, was, he was sacked and it was replaced, they made a statement again to Nigeria that is still under investigation and in due time he will go to prison. Guess what Buhari has done? Cleverly because he used him. Don't think Buhari is innocent. Guys, please stop that. Buhari is the senior of the senior. Okay? He knows what he's doing. He has nominated him for an ambassadorial position. I tell you the implication of this. It means he gets immunity. So nothing can be done to him, irrespective of the crime he has committed. But there is one who is called God. Oh, you cannot be immune from him. When he wants to deal with you, he deal with you thoroughly. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. President Muhammad Buhari has forwarded the names of the immediate past service chiefs, the chief of defense intelligence to the Senate as non-career ambassador designates. The special advisor to the president on media and publicity chief, Femi Adesina, disclosed this in a statement. It's not Buhari. There is no Buhari. So you see that those who are using them and those, the theory that is going on in Nigerian government will want to shield them because when they talk, uh -huh. they, you know, when, when breeze blow, you know what happened to the annals of the cock, it gets revealed. So they have to compensate them one way or the other after using them. The special advisor to the president, media and publicity, Femi Adishino, disclosed this in a statement he issued in Abuja on Thursday in a letter to Senate Adam, Adamu Lawa, Senate's president, the president said, in accordance with section 171, subsection 1 and 2, subsection 3 of subsection 4 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, I have the honor to forward the confirmation of the Senate by the, the conf for confirmation by the Senate the under list five names of nomination nominees as non-career ambassador designates. According to the statement, the nominees are General Ade Adeyomi, Le Lieutenant Takwa Brati, retired, Vice Admiral Iboru Ete, and Michal Sadiq Bubaka, and Vice Michal Mohammed Husman, retired. The president urged the Senate to give consideration to the nomination. Recall the president and had on January 26 accepted the resignation of the service chiefs and nominate new ones to take over. So what he's doing now is not the... See, uh, there is a conspiracy theory going on in Nigeria, okay? Even, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, good uh, uh, Lushegwan Basanjo had to speak on the issue as well, who said... Um, he does not believe that there is one, uh, whatever of Sudan. However, he feels strongly that the Buhari he knows is not the same person. So he's not saying yes or no. 
You know, he's not saying yes and no. He's also saying this is not the same person. There is something really wrong here. There is something not right. So what's going on now is we are not sure. Uh, when uh, this guy was to talk, what's his name? Uh, uh, Femi Adeshino. He said when Buhari went for the 2017 uh, operation or surgery or medical attention when he returned, he was coming from a wedding. So he dressed laboriously. How did Buhari know he was the one? If Buhari said that you are dressing very fine today, how do you say so? That must be Buhari. Listen, guys, you are all deceiving yourself. And until we start telling ourselves the truth, we keep deceiving ourselves, telling ourselves that all is well. There is one person there. Listen, eventually, eh, eventually, the truth will come out. It will all be revealed. It's going to be a matter of time, but all will be revealed. We will get to know the bottom. We'll get to know all that is really going on because with what you are saying, hmm, the more you look, the less you see you. Hmm. You think it's a you think it's just a play that in the in the in the north they are pampering the b boys. They brought them in to destabilize the country. There is a game plan underneath going on. There is something happening. Everybody is pretending and keeping quiet as if nothing is happening. And I'm so surprised that the governors, vice presidents, and the likes of those are all playing along. They are all playing along and pretending like all is well. The biggest loser in the whole of this thing is Ashwaji Bola Tinubu. You know the, North, the South gave Buhari more votes than the North? Oh, you don't know. The South were the people who put Buhari in power. Yes. As a result of some of the people who we call elder statesmen, politicians, who encouraged people that indeed change was coming. They were part and parcel of the plot that brought about what we have today. So you see, there is... See, when things begin to happen, there is always an action that begins reaction. It does not just happen. There are things, there are circumstances that are prevailing in this matter. And you think uh, all of them that are there, they don't know what is going on. Oh no, you are deceiving yourself. You are deceiving yourself. The conspiracy theory is alleged that because the North lost late Maru Yaradua, why, why in power, and that's how good luck Jonathan ever rose to become a president in the first instant. So they don't want a repeat of that. So the, 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 th the theory is that when Buhari, wh whether the real one or the fake one left, they had to bring somebody as a result, they said plastic surgery and the rest. Still being investigated, as we said, is an alleged information. However, we'll get to know the truth someday. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.